talk me through, I guess, how you're feeling after the match the other night. Yeah, look, we, we, didn't, we went down, so it's not a great result, but it was a tough one, but the boys aren't really focused on that now. We're going to look forward to Friday night against Sydney. And how would you describe, obviously, it was a bit of a gritty match. Um, you know, obviously the result didn't go their way, but obviously still a good performance from the side. Yeah, I thought the boys, especially in the first half, we played pretty well. I don't, don't quite think the result was uh, fair, but unfortunately you get those games sometimes, so we're going to move on. Um, I guess, you know, Friday night, short turnaround, I yeah. guess, you know, how, how, how are you guys going to cope with that? Yeah, look, we, we did it the other week against uh, MacArthur when we only had two days rest, but we, we understand what we need to do and that we might be a bit tighter than the others, but we're fit and that's what we've been working all season, so we're, we're looking forward to it still. And I guess, what do you make of Sydney? Look, they're a quality side. They've been the best, uh, best team in the country for the last five years, so we know the quality they can bring, but hopefully we can just outdo them on the day. Matt Simon a bit fiery in the last match. I guess, do you think he's going to be the same against his, his old side and it's going to be his, his birthday as well? I hope so. He's, he's got a lot of passion and it's good, it's good for the youngsters to see what you need to do to make sure that fans get behind you and to show that he's got your support no matter what. So it was good to see it. So I guess you know how great it will be to you know, cap off his 35th with a win against his former side. Yeah, Simo, Simo's a great bloke and I think one thing that would make him happy is winning, especially against Sydney FC, one of his former teams. And if he can bag one, he'll even be happier. So... I guess moving on from like the last match, what do you think you need to sort of you know improve on coming into this one? Well, look, I thought first the first half of the game we were pretty well and we did what we, we said we were going to do and we, we looked like we were going to score and then second half maybe we dropped off a little bit. So this week hopefully we can maintain the first half performance and carry it into the second half and hopefully that will get us the win. And how about yourself? How are you feeling, I guess, for this new season and you know settling into the squad again? And yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm pretty happy. I'm getting a little bit of recognition, but at the moment, I'm just more focused on the team result and how the team's going. So that's what I'm looking at. Um, you were, I guess, in and out of the squad a little bit this year. How nice is it to not have a place better down, but consistently down the team? Too? Yeah, last season I struggled a little bit to get into the team, especially at the back end of the of the season. I was starting to get more game time and more playing, but yeah, this year it's good to start a couple of games instead of the first three games, and hopefully I can maintain that form and keep playing. What, what, how, how do you get past the side like? Look, uh, tactically they're pretty similar to us. They set up with a two two tens and stuff like that. So, I think maybe getting the ball out wide and seeing what we can do. We've got Matty Simon in the box, who's good in the air. So maybe that's the way we do it. <laughs>